I don't know how it looks on this video. Hey, but I'm only driving like three miles an hour right now. <laughs> hey, y'all seen my live stream last night. Y'all know I'm at Camden Yards. But uh, my appointment time wants to 10.30. So, I mean, I ain't want to take no chances. I started my clock up super early at like 7 o'clock. That's what time it is now. I ain't want to take the chance of stopping that clock real early and then pulling here just to sit. So I said I decided I'd creep on in the creep on inside the facilities. Do it like that. Speed limit's 10. I'm only going three. We're almost there. I just gotta bust this right turn right here and pull up there and park, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I know, I know, ain't nobody behind me, but I know the guard, the guard and the guard, like, why is he creeping in here? <laughs> I had walked up, took my driver license and my tweet card up there, and he was like, all right, good, so I pulled in. But he had to, he had to open the gate. So while uh, <laughs> while while he was opening the gate, I was just creeping down the street. I know he was like, "Why is this guy driving so damn slow?" Hey, right, it is what it is. I'm gonna sit right here for a minute. Well, first I gotta call in there and let him know I'm here. I'm gonna see if the shit ready. I'm gonna park right here. Let's make this call real quick. Let me call in and check. 856. Excuse me. Would you pass the Grey Poupon? <laughs> Y'all remember that commercial? That's that's how I be talking. That's how I talk on the phone. Y'all don't when I talk on the phone, y'all don't it ain't the same. It ain't the same like I talk to y'all. I talk with the Grey Poupon voice. You say, yes, I'm here to pick this load up going to Richmond, Virginia. Y'all about to see. Typing in the number. If this is the right number. 856-342. Cause the office is right over there. I could walk over there if I wanted to. I'm gonna call. Let's see. I'm like, yes, I'm here to get a load going to Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. It's, it's the guard shack? No, this is uh, Camden Yard Steel. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, I'm here to pick a load up. I'm uh, going to Richmond, Virginia. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, thank you. Usually a lady that answers. Yes, right. Yes, sir. PNS. PNS, sir. Okay. Uh, so uh, I don't need an escort. I got a tweet. Oh, okay. What do you need? Excuse me. What do you need? Uh, I was just wondering, you know, what bay to pull in, or whenever y'all was ready. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Guess what he said? Same shit I said. <laughs> Fuck. Come to the window. <laughs> That's what he just said. Oh, man. I know I had to go to that damn window. All right, gang. Let me go to this damn window.
right to it is, gang. Gotta bust this down. Bust this motherfucker. Let's see, I gotta bust a U turn. They got these dumpsters in the way up here. So I gotta bust a U turn just to get my trailer back around so we can back in there. And all while keeping the truck under five miles an hour. So we don't start that clock just yet. Until I get inside the bay and start my pre-trip while I'm waiting to get loaded. And then log my loading time. That's the correct way to do things, if anybody's wondering. Make sure you do your logs correctly. thing in reverse. And they're like swim where they notice we did all that at a low speed. I did not go over five miles an hour. Low speed backing. They don't teach you that at the academy.
it got loaded. Got that thing torqued. Got it on up out of there. Hey, check this out. This load is going 245 miles. It's about a four hour drive right now. Maybe four, four and a half hours, give or take the traffic going through uh, Baltimore, Richmond area. And guess what? I'm about to try to get this thing off today. I'm gonna try. Hey, 50 50 chance, they're gonna say yes or no. But the load I dropped yesterday, that shingle load, it wasn't due until today. I dropped it a day early. And if everything would have worked out last night, with me getting that load going to uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, Into out of five. Philly, Keep to the left on I-295 South. everything would have went all right. I would have been dropping that load off this morning. But it didn't work out like that. So I sent my DM a message and asked, come out appointment time is not until 11 o'clock tomorrow. But I'll be there like around two, three o'clock today. So I mean, I don't wanna sit, I don't wanna just sit around the truck stop that long, just wasting, wasting time and money. So I'm I'm, a, I'm going there today to see if they're gonna take it. If they won't take it, I just head back north on 95 and uh, go to that T8 right there before you get on the bypass. But other than that, we're gonna keep on trucking. That's what we do. Keep on trucking. Hey, my truck is keeping. Y'all ever watch him? I, I ain't talked. I ain't talked to him in a while since he went local. My truck is keeping. What's that little little motto you got? Uh, sit back, keep your mouth closed. Whatever, whatever. I can't remember everything he said. And you might just learn something, something like that. My dog, Chris the Trucker. I can't remember your little motto that you be saying. What, what you be saying, Chris? I can't think of it right now. I can't even remember, man. It's your boy, Chris the Trucker. In the last mile, <laughs> to the something else you be saying. But y'all already know what I like to say. Y'all already know what I like to say. Flatbed gang. We out. Keep to the left on I-295 South. Turn right and then turn left at 610 feet. In 500 feet, turn left on Masonic Lane. All right, gang, half a mile away. We're gonna see if they're gonna take this thing. We're gonna see if they're gonna take it. I don't know if I said it already, but my appointment was at 11 o'clock tomorrow. But you see, I'm already here. So there ain't no way I can need to sit around all day till tomorrow. I called my DM, see if she knew what was going on. She told me to call the shipper. Well, call the receiver and see if they would take it early. I said, nah, I said, I ain't gonna call them. I said, if I call them, they're just gonna tell me no. I said, I'm gonna just show up and be like, oh, wow, I didn't know the appointment was tomorrow. You know how we do. Just gonna show up. Ain't normal. Hey, that's why I be telling my girl, man, we be going places. I said, look, just act like you fit in. Approaching destination in a quarter mile like, on like the right if, side. Like if you go to the club and it got a long line, but you decide, but you feel like you want to skip the line, just go skip the line. You walk to the front of the line and act like you got VIP tickets. Ain't nobody gonna know. You have arrived at your destination no on the right side. Truck entrance. There's another truck behind me. And yeah, he went ahead and slowed down. So let me get over and do that button. Old button hook. I remember when I was in truck driving school. Inbound truckers line up here. Okay. Yeah, when I got my license, when I, a long time ago when I got my license, the damn trainer talking about, 
They don't want us to teach y'all how to do button hooks. It's not in the. It's not. They don't want you to do button hooks. But he said in the real world, you, you got to do a damn button hook. What y'all think about that? You got to do the damn button hook. <laughs> Ain't no way around it. Couple stop lights back. I had to do another button hook. I had to make a left turn. It was tight. So I had to. I had to squeeze over. I had to squeeze over to the lane beside me in order to swing the whole trailer around. And still had my trailer up on the sidewalk. So if anybody tell y'all. You ain't supposed to do button hooks. I want y'all to tell him where they do that at. I'm about to go check in.